UAB Season 73. The Lady Spikers are all set for redemption after faltering in the finals a year ago. With the trio of Stephanie Mercado, Jack Alarca, and Chuck Roos leading the way, plus the emergence of sophomore Abby Marano, LaSalle won all elimination round matches. However, the UAB eventually reversed their first round match against UE due to eligibility violations. Despite the setback, this did not stop the team from their goal of reclaiming the title. Beating Ateneo in their Final Four series, they would face defending champion UST in a rematch of the UAP 72 Finals. The Lady Spikers would win Game 1 in 5 sets to put themselves within one win for their 6th Women's Volleyball Championship. International referee candidate. And our teams playing in the finals. First, currently celebrating their quadricentennial 400th year anniversary. Trying to extend this to our rubber match on Wednesday. Here are the defending champions, UST Tigresses. Their opponents will celebrate their centennial 100th year anniversary next school year. Trying to get back the crown today. Here are this year's hosts, the Delasa Lady Spikers. It's a culmination of all the, the training, the practices, all the missed uh, classes maybe sometimes, well, and you of, uh, of all well, people would know that you won a championship with LaSalle, one of the five championships. You know the Number kind of sacrifice, the kind of uh, uh, the hard work that Number you have to put in just to get to this point. Yes, that's right. So, I, so I guess it's um, just being in the championships, of course. Number what eight. both teams, both teams want is to get the championship, but, you know, being here. And of course, battling through injuries too, which is all part of playing the sport. And UST pretty much uh, personifying that. Isa Maiso with that back injury all throughout. Banatika now adding on to her current injuries. Starting. Well, the defending champions do not even think that these girls are going away just like that. And listen now to the 2009 champions, the LSU Lady Spikers. Number one, the rookie of the year. Individual awards, and they pretty much racked it up, starting with that girl, the rookie of the year. What a job this year, man. The talent with uh, Esperanza, and uh, I guess that award is something that uh, is well deserved for this uh, young girl. That girl, graduating, Jack Alarca, the MVP, and the veteran, Stephanie Mercado. What a stint for her, and probably playing in her last game if it ends today. And of course, as I've always said, probably the most complete player they have, Chuck Cruz, who might graduate. Well, she is graduating. She might return. She might not. We'll see what happens with Chuck Cruz. But I think she's going to play one more year. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I, you know, they always say it's like the coach. What? <laughs> Back of their heads, they really, really want to play. coach. That's a girl that you really need. Of course. And LaSalle raring to finish this off. Now, the question always with LaSalle is there always will be a point, especially when they're up against UST, that, I know, no, na kinakabahan sila, like in that third set and fourth set. There are two ways to look at it. 
if you're rooting for LaSalle, you survived it, you showed the character in the fifth set. But if you're rooting for UST, you're thinking, we almost have them. Start we came back from two sets down. I think this is our Della moment. Sals we might win this game. Rookie of the year, Mika Esperanza. Apart from that, we, we know that you uh, lost it off Maruba Natikla in uh, set number five poses really a big question to all of those who are uh, supporting USC. So now that the USC team is complete, you know, it's um, something that uh, we have yet to see yeah. how they will perform today. Stephanie Mercado, a little line on her first attack. The USD men's division wrapped up their championship earlier on. USD, by the way, already the general champions. Wow. Di pa tapos yung football, di pa tapos yung, yung uh, uh, volleyball, eh, sila na. Malayo na yung kailan ng susunod, eh, which is the side. And I'll talk about that a little later on. Now we're tied. You know, when you look at the numbers, though, Jack Alarka's numbers are down Stephanie this year Marco. compared to the other years, but that's only because the kind of talent that she's surrounded with right now with this team. That's right. That's why we always say, you know, Esperanza is actually having such a, you know, okay. such a good opportunity and also a great situation to be in. And dami mong options with, the, you know, the lineup that they have. All right, let's check in with Aaron Torreon from the DLSU side. Bring back the glory to Taft Avenue. Undoubtedly, this really has been the end goal of the Lady Spikers all season. And today, they really want to finish things off. But after having a game one of the finals, these girls have learned that overconfidence was what caused them those two sets because they didn't exert much of an effort with the reception. So this is really something they intend to change and improve on in this game. And speaking of this game, the Lady Spikers are basically focused on two things. First, be quick on their offense. And second, they plan to be completely perfect on their blocks. Meanwhile, coming into this game, when I spoke to Coach from Mill about what was different about his team in the finals last year, and this year he tells me that his 2011 team is already used to the pressure. They know what it is to have an end game, and he really believes his girls can win it today. Boom and Ann. Thank you, Aaron. Well, when you think about it, this is the third straight five-step game that La Salle has gone through. USD in the last game yep. of the elimination. In the semifinals, that exciting match against Ateneo, mm -hmm. they were pushed by Ateneo, and then the last game, game number one, as Isaiso gets it through the block now, and we are at four and two. And if there's anything that you can take from last year, that has got to be experience and maturity, and maybe that's the reason why, kahit na umaabot ng fifth set, eh nakakayana na ng lasa. That's right. So now the difference, I guess, is that uh, these girls have that end game. So, nakakahabol pa rin, and uh, I guess confidence, and you know, that experience, tama rin si Coach Ramirez. And you also mentioned that uh, one thing that they lacked in the, in that first game was reception. Like, naging overconfident inside, it's very clear in the statistic that you saw earlier. Because they were dominating in the first two sets. I mean, by, by their standards already. Bad reception there. Mercado. Chao Cruz will try to make something out of this. The lead is three. Maizo. Maizo playing in her last game. Oh, that's a good ball. Kept alive by Char Cruz and Alarca. Ortiz puts it away. Ortiz. Excellent call by Dino uh, Colangan to give that to Ortiz. And the familiar running kill from Mike Ortiz. Isa Maizo, as we said, playing in her last game. If it ends today, I wonder what she has to say about uh, you know, the MVP race. As Kumapo puts it away for the kill. 6-3 now. Batch Gonzana still reports for USD, so let's go to her. USD as defending champ got in the court with high morale and a lot of positive thoughts, even if they lost game one. Coach Shaq was honest in telling me that they are pressured in a way, but at the same time after their practice yesterday, it turned out to be good. Good enough for him to tell me that his confidence in today's game was doubled. One more thing that added to his confidence is the return of Maruba Netikla in the game. Though not 100% okay, 
way she has hidden off the play today after the cramps that she had during the fourth set she wasn't sent back because from her legs her cramps went up to her abdomen this is due to total dehydration so she was sent to the hospital and got out yesterday morning after being given a lot of potassium and rest she is here to help USC in getting one more game so before I left coach after the game he said that basta we have to do really great on game three then I said coach game two pa lang tayo and he probably said hey kaka game three kasi patch well, that has been the story for USD this whole year. Injury, gutting it out, trying to play through it, and still making it to the finals. But they are down here by five as we get to our first technical time. Back at the arena here in San Juan, over probably 5,000 spectators on a Saturday. One of them, a fanatic of uh, volleyball for many, many years already. Nice. Kanda is a uh, very popular host. Zier Vasho, the players from Ateneo, and uh, the best setter. Jean also in attendance right here at the arena. What a run for them. They gave La Salle mm -hmm. a major run for their money in that semi-final matchup. Let's receive as we are back in play here, 8-3 to three, La Salle in the lead. Ortiz, successful again with another running hit. Four, serving eight. Coach Shaq up from that bench. Coach Camilla stayed on his bench as the most popular USD player right now. The closer, as we call her, Isa Maizo, playing in her last game. Of course, part of that team last year that lost to uh, USD, even with uh, the uh, incredible record from last year. A lot of people, as you know, already installed La Salle as the champions of last year. But USD just proved steadier in the finals, getting or sweeping La Salle. Panatika. Oh, Panatika gets a oh, touch. Panatica. It was a check. Interesting to see how how she plays today. Suffering from cramps that went up to her abdomen. And you know how that, that, that oh, yeah, is. that's legs come out. It's really cramp. terrible. Imagine going up, go, yeah, going up all the way. Isomizo with a service error, giving Lasal an easy point nine, serving six now. John Cruz, the captain. We saw them bring the hallways trying to keep the girls focused prior to the game as Dibakulangan goes to Maru. Down the line, it is a USD point. Maru is still uh, very effective. I can't even feel that she experienced um, injuries or cramps earlier on. And you can't show it if you're the I player. Can't show you're it. Not, you won't show it. Esperanza Tomaraño. Oh, what a kill Let's from the sophomore. Abigail, oh. Showing that they could also get a point from that uh, running attack. Look at Maraño. She had five blocks in that game. She, together with Agumaba, led the, the blocking parade, the block party, so to speak, in game number one. Maizo, of course, still the number one scorer, even in game number one. Alarca had 19 points. In that game, the last time out, Baizo from the back row. Back set. Oh, good oh, blockage. Oh, but Dima oh, Kulangan. Oh, That's the advantage of having a tall set. Quick thinking there by uh, Rhea Dima Kulangan. All right. Although, credit to LaSalle, that was good coverage. Just finding a spot. And Panatika living on the cheers of this uh, predominantly, well, I don't know if I should say predominantly nice. USD crowd now because the crowd today for La Salle has multiplied compared to Wednesday. Well, that's right. Although, no, kanina, kasi dahil naglaro yung Mersa, no? so kanina pa yung maaga nandito. But you know, the arena is really full up to the bleachers. In fact, people are already, already standing up. Isa na lang ang kalamangan ng La Salle dito. 9-7-10. Dibakulangan has done that many, many years for USD. Yeah, and now we're tied. And you'll see that a lot of the points coming are coming from either Maruba Natika or balls that are being tipped over. Great to 
see the other players who are not playing, like the UP men's volleyball team are here. Of course, they receive their award, but they're watching here at the arena. And then the Ateneo uh, lady, uh, the women's volleyball team, some of them. That's how much they love volleyball. Yeah. Watch. Yeah, you watch. Go, huh? Second runner-up for this year, UP. Katabi nila yung uh, girls from Ateneo. 11 serving 10. Caballero. They need Caballero to be consistent today, and That's right. Hindi pwede kasi, you know, what you'll see is that uh, for UST, the main, the main or the key players would have to be uh, Dimakulangan and Banatikla, but the outside hit is a very, very crucial point. And then Banatikla, of course, with the injury, so Caballero is going to be very crucial. She needs to play her best today if they want any chance of extending this way, winner take all on Wednesday. The Rookie of the Year on your screens. What a job she has done this year, huh? That's right. So of course, um, did an excellent job. She brought the team here in the championships. And what you'll see from Esperanza is that even just as a rookie, she risks, she, risks, she gambles her place. Uh, I agree. She, she did not show at all that she was you know, a rookie. And it's very important. They always say the skill can be taught, pero yung tapang and yung discarte has to be there already with the player. Esperanza with that jump serve. Maizo, who is the best receiver from game number one, and she's always been great in that department. Free ball for Lasal. Very steady, very consistent. And look at her, saving that. Vallejo, Cruz with the dig. They open up to Mercado. Maratikla taking it. They go back to Caballero. With a loose provided by Gunaba and Alarca. Game number two, folks, is what you're watching on Studio 23. The finals for the women's volleyball tournament. And Esperanza continues to serve 14 to 10. So that's 15-10. Here's a Shakey's fast serve coming at you. Shakey's, it's fun. Family pizza. Mapula Dito USD at 10 all but five straight points. By the 2009 champions. That's in. Sal's focus this year has been laser-like. Again, as we said, technically, wala pang tinalo to this year. They lost their one blemish. Is that UE quote-unquote loss where it was forfeited. A little bit of a controversy towards the end of the second round, but Lasal did not get distracted. They continued winning. And uh, they're here now for the championships as uh, Mercado. Committed violation. Part of that 2009 champion team with Ina Santos. Champions was there. Alarco was there. Alarco gets that through. Yeah. The triple block yeah. from USD. Second technical time. We are at 16 12 now. That means we get into a technical timeout back in a moment. Well, I did mention Ila Santos at 2019. She's here, the captain, former captain, the champion, together with Michelle Datuin, one of their more imposing uh, frontline players. But Janelle Bakuli, of course, the uh, athletic director now of the much improved National University with Mr. Robert Pagia, Mr. Ricky Palu, all in attendance today here at the arena, and why not? Game number two right, the game on the women's third. volleyball Stephanie tournament Mercado. for the UAAP. The finals. Kulangan to the rookie. Getting that point. First, first case of a 
this kind of an atmosphere and, and para kay Hibot Sinhi. And of course, big pressure because you're still very young. You're uh, together with already veterans inside the court. You're expected to perform at the same level. That is exactly what uh, girls like Maranyo experienced uh, last year. That's out. Poor estimation made there by uh, Larka. It is 14 serving 16. Set number one of game number two. LaSalle taking game number one. They go back to that set which they were not able to execute earlier. And that's how it should be. After an error, you should uh, make up for it by uh, getting that point just like what Alarka did. It's a replay brought to you by Shakey's. Shakey's, it's fun. Family pizza. Coach Ramil up from his seat for the first time. Barking instructions as Alarka comes up with another great serve. Esperanza reaching over for that one. The violation is called. The back row player on De La Salle. 15. Here's Judy. Here's Judy. Come on, Bao. Like textbook. The form. And the count, as Mozi would always say, when you see her and her approach, no flash, no nothing, simply effective. The oh, and what a block by Maranio, the leading shot, of the leading blocker of uh, game number one. With the offensive block on Ortiz for the four-point lead, 19-15, we listen to USD. USD down here by four, and down in the finals, trying to force sudden death, which will be played on Wednesday. Wednesday. That's right, but you know, Coach Shaq just calling out the attention of the girls. It's inevitable to be blocked in the game, but what you really need is to make sure that coverage is there. Let's see if uh, the girls can make this adjustment quickly. It's an electric atmosphere here at the arena in San Juan where we are packed to the rafters. Thank you for joining us on Studio 23. For those who cannot be here, it's Isaac Maiso, also blocked. And this is the thing. For La Salle, of course, they know that one of uh, the, uh, well, of course, the first option for USD is to set it to Isa Maiso. So automatically, if she's in the front line, alam mong So for USD, they have to uh, vary it. It's a bit luckily, of course, Maruba Natikla and Ortiz is in the front line as well. Five point lead. And Chakus, medyo nakailalim dun sa bola. Nakailalim dun sa risk. So this is how this game started in game number one. Really, it's like Lasar. Very clinical in the way that they played in the first two sets. And then the dip came in set number three. In other words, and you never want to do that against the defending champion, obviously. Good serve. And a reception by Goheng. Ortiz setting up Maru. Oh, that's a great call by Maru Valentino. This is where you see variation uh, of uh, their shots. Let's listen to LaSala this time out. Their lead down to three. We've been listening to Coach Ramil for many, many years and it is still, to me, very, it's amazing 
how fast he can really give those. He fits everything in the. <laughs> in that timeout. Uh, I mean, talk he's about. He's mastered that. Talk about efficiency in the 30 seconds that you have to talk. Uh -huh. You have to make sure that you get your message across. That's worth two timeouts to other coaches already. And I, I, I'm not knocking it at all. It's, it's a great skill. You know, the, the focus of La Salle in this finals, actually in this whole season, has been remarkable that I, I heard that even in terms of cell phones, prior to the finals, it was taken away from the girls. Not forced away, but you know, it was a voluntary... It's, it's part of yes, the... Yeah. For distractions, not to be part of uh, what they're doing here in the finals. Esperanza blocking Banatikla. Back set to Stephanie. Abalia was there. They go back to Maru. Oh, oh. Maru is very effective. Wow. Playing hurt. Well, we expected this girl when we saw her last year. We, we expected this girl to be a, she was such a fighter last year. We saw it already. Yep. Bad reception by... The former Rookie of the Year, Melissa Gohin. Maranyo again! Gonzalez to Caballero. Here comes Esperanza to Stephanie Mercado. Ball still alive. And a free ball for LaSalle here. There they go. Back set to Maranyo. Oh, and Miguel Maranyo! 22-18. And a part of that team that suffered the heartbreak By last year. USC Tigresses. And Coach Shaq will ice Abigail Maranyo for a while. Yung running spike natin, nauna yung talo natin. Tapos, pag tumalam tayo, papunta tayo doon sa mi antena. Hindi natin kinukuha yung cross court. Kailangan na-establish yung position natin. Tapos, gawa tayo ng cross court. Depensa tayo doon sa straight ball. Diba? Timing tayo, timing. Tapos, mababa na yung contact mo sa bola. Ang tagain mo, ha? Abang may ano yung blocker, maliit doon sa dulo, ha? Okay? Isip lang, ha? Break lang, kasi sila. Isip tayo. Four points. Kalamangan ng Lasal. Dito sa UST. Lee Stan, former player of UST, also here. At the arena watching the game of the Lady Tigers. Miguel Maranya now serving. Back set. Oh, great idea though. Uh, Nobody was there. Oh, bukas na bukas ang lasal. But you know, you, you have to master the art of really um, putting the right amount of force. Not easy. It's not as easy as, you know, you, uh, people think. And yung motion din yun, dun eh, diba? Parang pababa na siya. Free ball for Lasal, who are two points away from pocketing yeah, set number yeah, one. Make that yeah. one point away as Jackalarka. This is like the, the Jackalarka of old. She must be really uh, pumped up and oh, yeah. energized because of the yeah, award that she received point. earlier. She looks it. Very active. And Coach Ramil is a point away from set number one. Oh, oh poor setup there. Miscommunication between Maru and Di Makala. Another dominating performance here in this set. 25-18 is the score. It is exactly the same score as set number one of game number one. And this is why we said they, they played tremendous volleyball in that game. Can they keep it up and can they close out? USD. Well, they have their nose ahead here in game number two. Back in a moment. A bigger LaSalle crowd now here at the arena compared to last Wednesday. And they're hoping that they win it all today. But prior to the start of the volleyball competition of the men's finals in game number two, the individual awards were handed out early on by the hosts. De La Salle University, and that's why, you know, the archer look of the trophy. Those are the awardees. Janelyn Reyes as our best digger. The uh, Isa Maiso Kanina. Jack Alarca, first of three awards. Best server. And 
then Jem Ferrer, the very amiable setter of, of Ateneo. With that uh, familiar smile flashed. Our best setter again. Yep. Uh, and uh, a different looking Michelle Gumaba, free game for her as our best blocker. And the second award for Jack Alarca. We're talking about efficiency there, best spiker. Best scorer was Isa Maizu, was not yet on hand to receive her award. And the rookie of the year, Maria Micaela Esperanza from La Salle. As La Salle continues to rack up the individual awards. Well, congratulations to all the winners. And of course, a surprise look from uh, Jack Alarca winning the MVP award here. Receiving it from uh, the distinguished members of the board of the UAAP. Hopefully. Can they win the big one? Yes, Anne. Well, hopefully, of course, she, she got uh, three awards earlier. That's why we can see that the iba, eh, no? iba yung aggressiveness of Jack Alarca. But uh, here, the the most important thing really is to take home the championship. What about Janelyn Reyes? What the, this hard worker, uh, libero of NU. I'm so very happy for her, and I'm sure Coach you know, is very happy that they, they got an award from a, a great year for NU. Okay, let's look at some numbers from that first set. Set number one, very interesting. Actually, it was UST that led the scoring in terms of attacks 11 as compared to only 9 of La Salle. Oh, but what two, really helped La Salle in set number Rhea. one was the number of blocks, six as compared to one. The number one block in the league. And that's why, actually, Coach Shaq mentioned earlier that it's really important that they keep, keep coverage. Eh? Because they know that Lasal is a good blocking team. Kailangan may coverage sila palagi sa likod. I don't mean to steer any kind of controversy, but as we start set number two, I, I do wonder you know, how Isa Maizo, unfortunately, not for our USD fans, not in any, uh, no individual uh, 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 error committed here by Bernal. But Isa Maizo deserves something. Whatever award we can come up with. She is actually I mean, the I'm best sorry. Part. When I say that, I mean, uh, yeah. a consideration, obviously, mm -hmm. for for MVP. That's for sure. Of course, a lot of uh, people, Ooh. speculations, and all that. Ooh. While uh, before the awarding is uh, taking place early, of course, and damage and malamang rooting for Isaac. That's what we heard. Uh, not to take away anything from Jack Alarco, of course. Has been doing it for a very long time for both of them, actually. Maizo, our best scorer, and also our best receiver. Oh, and Larka crossing. Chanaman, Chanaman, Yan crossing. When I mean, you talk about Isa Maizo and one last point on her, and you look at her, she really will not strike you to be. Athletic. Only in terms of her movement, it's so deliberate, but what I'm trying to say is she makes volleyball look so easy. Oh, yes, she does. What? Oh, that's <laughs> calculation by Abigail Maranio, and look at this score. And now everything is uh, turning around. Time out for the well for and that is the reason why Coach Ramil right away pushes the timeout button. Tendency and another. Uh, that's what we're going to look like. As you see right behind us, a couple of uh, players from uh, La Salle in previous years, including Hernandez. A part of that La Salle team that won championships with uh, Ila Santos, whom we focused on earlier. If you just tuned in, this is set number two, game number two of the finals between La Salle and USD. Boom Gonzalez and Ramulia and USD after losing set number one, is leading 5-0. And Dima Kalangan now with her second service ace. One in the end line, this time around in the attack line. So that's how she uh, variates the force that she applies on her serve. She had five service aces 
in game number one as Ortiz looking to put it away. Meisel, and this is an error from USC. So that rally ends for them. First point for LaSalle in set number two. Now, this is an interesting prospect because we're so used to how LaSalle dominates their opponents. Pero ngayon in the finals against the defending champions, magahabol ka. Yan ang interesting dito. Iba. Iba ngayon ang premise. We're not used to seeing that. Right? Well, it's a space. Yeah, Ty, pero you know what could come in now is yung, hindi uh, man nervous, pero yung kumpiyansa, iba in the elimination rounds. And that's what we saw from LaSalle last year as well. Perhaps, sabi nga ni Coach Ramil, the team is ready this time around. They're more experienced. Pero yung you at the back of their heads, you, you can't really take that away. Yeah? Uh, let's go to Patch Gonzaga. Focus, focus, focus. This is what USD needs to get their game going. One weakness that Coach Shaq saw is that during long rallies, hindi pa patay ang bola, bumibigay na sila agad. That's why they lose the sense of continuation. Coach Shaq doesn't want uh, to hide the fact that their only worry in this game is the performance of the Lady Spikers. Why? Because they may handle the pressure better since they have been excellent in the first half. They have the height of the Salle and threat for their attacks and combination. But if there's one thing they need to work on is their floor defense is down and their coverage is gone. USC is definitely feeling the pressure, but at the same time, communication and support is keeping them intact. Even Isa is feeling it, not wanting this to be her last. Coach Shaq gave her a pat and just said, just do your thing, Buminan. Or an emotional game, I'm sure, as this serve sails out after four straight points from the service area. Esperanza, 6-4 is the score. You know, how dominating has LaSalle been this season? Their three-set match record here is 10-1 this season. And again, you will argue the fact that actually 11 0 yan, dahil nga, pinigay nga sa UI, ano? After the fourth feature. But so, even so, so it's still an impressive won. record. That's how impressive they, they've, they've, they've been. Their four set uh, record is 2 0, and their three set record is 3 0. It's an amazing number. Sorry, their five set match record is 3 0. Two against USD, one against Ateneo. That, uh, I point that out because Sanay na Sanay sila na Lamang, Sanay sila na dominating their opponents. So it's unusual that they're actually doing it there. Number one, magahabul sila. Pangalawa, humahaba ng five sets. Pero nakaganda sa kanila yung nangyari sa kanila sa dulo ng elimination with UST. Na itulak sila ng Ateneo. I'm sure all of that, as you know very well, Anne, comes into play when you get to situations like these. At least they can say that uh, they are prepared because uh -huh. they were able to experience that before oh, coming into the fight. Yung tinatawag nila na may pinanghuhugutan ka na ng experience. A frame of reference, if you may. It's 7-6 now. UST with a lead. So Jack Alarca. Uh, the better service of the league, obviously. And she won the award earlier, but Meisel with a quick First technical timeout. And they get to the technical timeout first. A bounce back set is what they want here in set number two. Here's somebody who will miss the uh, atmosphere of the UAP as a player, already graduating, uh, playing her last match against USD, Angela Penting from the Adamson Lady Falcons. At least she got the experience of getting it to the finals and almost, almost getting it. But uh, the FEU, Lady Tamaraos back then just wouldn't quit with uh, Morada, Semana, and uh, Rachel Andakis Berlin, winning the championship in 2007. Chakruz. Some errors were seen from uh, the Lady Spikers. Sorry, I keep, I keep saying 2007. It's actually 2008. That's season 70 when FEU came back and won against Adamson. I correct myself right there as 
Maranyo will be called to that violation. Actually, the tapilok sa dun by Jacques. So na overreaching. Karon overreaching, and Coach Shami is not happy with that. The lead is four again for UST. We check in with Aaron Torreon. You know what, guys? I've reported for these ladies spikers a lot this season, and I've never seen more serious faces on this one than I had today. And I, if I accept that I've seen their game face as well, I must have been mistaken because they've got a different kind of game face today, which just tells me how much a win today really means to them. And Coach Emil definitely sees this in his girls' clothes, which is why he's been giving rookie Michaela Esperanza extra pointers every step of the way today, such as which blocker to send the ball to, where to position herself, and the proper timing when to set those plays right. Meanwhile, for the rest of the girls, Coach Emil basically expects them to keep the same intensity from the first set and reminded them that they need to keep their eyes on the ball and the specific players they were told to be aware of. Lastly, these ladies, Packers, were basically told to just relax. It might be a difficult task right now, but he wants them to do their best at keeping calm to stay in control. They want to end today. And that's why even down five, they come back to die at five all. Now down four, ten six. They're a point away from tying again. That's right. A very good point as well. What Coach Rami wants is for them to keep control or to be in control. Because if you look back at game number one, there was actually a point there where, uh, you know, USD took a 15-4 advantage. And that's something that uh, Coach Rami doesn't wow. want to happen again. Goheng taking the Maizo kill. Swiping it off. It's and it's a point for Lasako. Oh. Shot. That's something... Coach is actually complaining about something on that violation. Oh, and that, you know, 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 you because, you know, each point is really very oh. important. So, yung mga ganyang violations, if you really see it, ikaw yung coach, paglalaban mo yan. Eh. Lalo na, lamang na isang set yung kalaban mo. No? Chakus continues to serve her third. Paratikla is denied. Once again, for the ladies Spikers. And they take over the lead. Talking about the ladies Spikers, 11 to 10. Look at this offensive block. The timing of Maranyo and Bumabaw. The two best in game number one. And consistently being the best here, Bumabaw winning the award, of course, for the year. Esperanza, back set. Oh, Chacruz this is wasn't ready. Correct. Caballejo, going was there again. Bumabaw again. But now reaching already without making the step. And Bumabao was lucky that the net helped her out there as we listen to Coach Shaq. Dalawa yung drop nante ko. Ano yung drop? Ano yung drop ko dito? Ano drop ko sa kita? Kita ni ko yung susano. Ano ata kay mo? Ata kay mo? Si Bat? Si Bat si Kod? Si Bat si Kod? Cover tayo cover. Tapos pag gumawa ng dapat pinili yung isa. Ay na ako ay na ti. USC Lady Tigresses or the Tigresses, the defending champions. Well, speaking of champions, MVPs, JP Torres, part of the four feet for the men's division. And also ending up as the most valuable uh, player. Uh, it's another ace for the team captain. Jackalarka, a hat trick. Well, Shaq taking over from August Santa Maria, if you remember, no? And that's actually Coach August, I think, is watching us. Oh, right now. wow. So hi to Coach August. Oh, I hope everything is uh, well with Coach August, and he is surely missed mm -hmm. in the UAP, the story career of uh, Coach August. Coach Ramil Levan. He remembers the bitterness and the pain from last year. A very strong team on paper. Losing to USD. Maranyo able to power that one out for a check ball in the lead. Goes now to three. It is looking like game number one. 
Actually, it's looking like a typical LaSalle USP game. First two sets, you know, the challenge always coming in. And UST this year, as Meisel disguises that one, but this is still a playable ball. With the Panatika, quickly. Oh, this is still good. Great reflexes by the Lady Spikers. Oh! Boy, that was clearly a uh, violation. Just a few minutes. Oh, it's a Timing, eh. Na una yung talong niya. Tsaka wala sanang blocker, eh. Pero yung execution lang, eh. <laughs> one of the oh, but that's an ace. What you don't the want to see, just you know, people Second looking at each other. Time on. And a big five-point turnaround. Actually, that's a ten-point turnaround for Lasalle. They lead now 16-11 after being behind by five. Amped up crowd here at the arena at San Juan on this Saturday afternoon. They're watching us on Studio 23, ABS-CBN Sports. USD Tigers is behind by five after being up 5-0 early in this game. Boom Gonzalez, Andrew Bulla, Patch Katsana, Adam Tadaron, and Al Neri at the helm of this ABS-CBN Sports exclusive. We need happy birthday, Apala, direct. <laughs> right now, LaSalle doing an excellent job in uh, keeping this lead with uh, a consistent serve from Gumabao. Manatikla. What? Oh, that. Maru, a, great, a, a great kill from Maru. Maru Manatikla. Serving Aiza Maiso. Captain now. Serving as they are behind by four. 12, serving 16. Mercado putting a little more into that one. And USD over receiving it. Benaticla on the second ball. What a dig by Maizo. Look at the good value. Benaticla dropping it. Esperanza opens up to Stephanie. Nobody behind. And the very athletic Paling Mercado able to adjust at the last second. After a series of uh, exchanges with uh, hard spikes, she ends it with the drop ball. Maranya now. Ooh, bad serve. Oh, short for a service error. The throw was a little off. Bernal is back. Very, very familiar name. USD women's volleyball. Living at the sidelines. The that ball is, is actually high. high. It's a high ball. And that's, you know, the you coverage. It's something that he kept on reminding the girls all throughout the first set. I mean, uh, Isa Miza can't do it all on her own. Good reception for USD. Try to save it. Chance for LaSalle. The drop shot doesn't work for, you, for LaSalle, so back set. Look at Kohane work hard for that one. Former rookie of the year bumping the floor to save that ball. 19-13. Let's look at that save. Look at that. that. Literally threw herself on the floor. And Shaw Cruz with the finishing touch. It's looking like a, a game again where they have to come back from two sets. Now this set's not yet done, but it's really looking like it right now. 
can really sense the frustration in Coach Shaq as uh, he talks to the girls. We talk about USD, as we mentioned earlier, seven five-set games, and their record is four and three. So hati pa yun. Outside. There was no touch for not asking for a touch. That face says it all. That frustration also. You know, one uh, one thing that uh, the coaching staff also mentioned is that you know, the goal in game one was that they also need to uh, train more. Yung mga bench players nila because in 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 that case, na parang hindi nakalaro si Maru, they needed someone to replace her, and they have to make sure that that person would uh, deliver. Cut shot doesn't work. Jack Alarca says, "This is how you do it." The running attack against another running attack. Look at that. Look at the execution from an excellent set. Great timing by Alarca. Reading today, she walks home with an MVP trophy and a championship trophy. Playing in her last game if it ends today. Cha Cruz, the beach volleyball veteran. Ortiz in the middle. 21 13 is a score. Coverage there by Maru. Baba, 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 have a better reception to set up a good play. Oh, the hey, Abigail. Let's look at that violation again. Para ma -ex para ma explain muna ano bang nangyari doon na uh, parang hindi overreaching, oh. A different, uh, a different violation, obviously, of this call. Good oh, one from John Cruz. Check ball again. And they go up to 22 points. 15 for USD. Set number two. With Lasalle leading 1-0. Wasted opportunity for USD for reception there. And again, you can actually count how Gumampao approaches. Oh. But it works. It works for her and and it's very effective. High percentage and gets another point. They're two points away. Now the challenge for USD is how they will get a good reception so far. Cruz. Well, she's just innovating there in that sequence. Esperanza back set to Alarca. Meisel was there. Caballero checked by Cha Cruz. So close to the net. Very dangerous one. Cha Cruz again. Oh, great adjustment. Ooh. By the of the Lady Strikers. We saw that opening. And it sets up set point. Look at that. Set point for LaSalle to give them a major advantage here in game number two. And they go back to the first server, Esperanza, the rookie of the year. Oh, but she sends that out. <laughs> 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 Too much force. Nevertheless, it's still a big. Eight point lead. Now remember, if you just tuned in, five point lead by USD earlier. Amar. Chakru sends oh, it back. Like a tip to Maizo. And it has been very rare. I have not seen Isa Maizo come up with a lot of clean attacks here because Ansamang and the reception is. To that, and I'm uh, I suppose that uh, when they uh, go into the huddle later, papaalala na naman siya coach Shaq about uh, the service reception. It's a free ball, they go to Caballero, not Miser. The Mamba again, from taking the title today, De La Salle, ladies, fighters ahead, two sets to love.
the game number two of the finals for the 73rd season of the women's volleyball tournament in the UAAP. Season 73 of your UAAP, the finals. Now back here at the... Uh, more time that uh, remains to be seen well, it's gonna be uh, a big challenge because if you look at set number two look at LaSalle's score wow. 14 attack points as compared to only five of uh, USD five service aces for LaSalle two for USD now in terms of uh, unforced errors there were about 10 for LaSalle wow. and four for uh, USD but what's glaring there is the fact that the score in terms of attack Napawi lang yung error. Uh, oo, at saka hindi lang yun eh. Hindi nakapag-set up yung USD. So hindi na maximize yung malakas na opensa. So here we are. Set number three. Can USD stay alive? Not only for this series, but just for this game. This game number two. You know, I see the difference though. In the faces of the LaSalle girls, you, you remember last year, but they, when you look at the faces, they look black and they look so pressured, mm -hmm. Dirac, entering the finals. Now they, they look more relaxed here. The way they move, the body language, the facial expression yep. as well. You know, which can only be achieved by, by heartbreak sometimes. Learning, yep. learning it the hard way. Point going to USD here. Let's see what they have. They gotta dig down deep now to try to extend not only the series but just this game. They need, of course, just to focus. Of course, they want to have game number three, but before that, it's uh, this game first. But you know, with these these errors won't really help their cause. What they need right now is to get a big lead over Lasal. Para hindi na sila nahihirapan humabol if they do want to secure a win. Yeah, so they just wanna. Kung sa kasakaling nakalamang dito ang lasal maaga dito sa set number 3 this might be over early because that might really break the backs and demoralize this USC squad but right now it's just 2 and 1 because what you need is actually room for you to move mm. combination play that is a great combination play finished off by the captain Charlene Cruz let's look at that again it's the replay brought to you by Shaky. Shaky's it's fun family pizza. 3 1 is the score. Great oh. fake. Oh. And I mean, they haven't got the mice a lot, like I said. Huh? Oh, nobody's there. Oh, Mamba was actually looking for somebody. So now USC tying it up three all. Jam back the arena. Over 4,000 last Wednesday. And close to 5,000 today on a Saturday.
coaching staff says it all. The expression on their faces, the frustration, obviously, the every shot. point mattering, oh especially when you're down two sets. And the third set is really a very, very critical set for oh USD yeah. right now. Might be their last, mm -hmm. simply put, might be their last. Well, but this is a lucky for USD. A, a quiet USD crowd here compared to what was going on in the men's finals earlier when they were, you know, beating FEU. And they beat FEU earlier in three sets. Such an exciting game. It was oh, yeah. only three sets, but it lasted for quite a while. It was only three sets also, but all of the wins of USD were come, kind of come Very. from behind. Oh, oh, no. And the scores were pretty close. Yeah. First set actually went uh, 27. 27 but with 918 trying to fit uh trying trying to either team trying to finish off each other as eyes of Mizo with a front row kill. We haven't seen much of uh, I've heard much from Mizo. And unfortunately she will go back row to serve. Right now we have uh Hirosuzi, Banatikla and Dimakulangan in the front line. And again that's the second time that Mizo serves wide. Let's check in with Aaron Torreon. Work on your cups and coach and Mel's words that he's been repeating over and over today as it really is something he wants his girls to take note of and improve as it really will be advantageous to them when it comes to their attacks. But at the same time, too, these girls were warned that if they do must receive the ball, they basically just need to take note of USC's defense right away as to come. And they're just a set away from the championship. These ladies' pikers were basically instructed to just play as if it were any other set, just giving it their all in order not to commit any unforced errors. And if they do commit any errors, Coach Ramil just reminded them that it shouldn't let it affect them too much. It should just encourage them to do better. The last words the girls heard coming into the court was that they shouldn't throw this set away. They should just keep their eyes on the prize. Boom and Anne. Oh, yun yun nakita natin na lumapit na si Coach Ramil dun sa mga babae. Sinabi niya, it cannot happen again. He doesn't want another fight center from uh, the girls, but of course he it's doesn't different. Want, he doesn't want another set, period. No? That's right. <laughs> Just to, to secure it right away. But of course, it's a, it's a different story for USD. Right now, you know, each and every point is just very important. But we're seeing, you know, a few errors coming in, you know, from, from the service or hindi maganda yung reception. So hindi sila nakapag-maximize ng uh, opensa. Chance for USD. Oh, underneath the ball. Oh, no. look at the wrist. timeout for the sophomore, Maruba Natikla, which gives Lasalle a two-point lead going into the technical timeout. Brother Bernie uh, with us here at the arena. Part of our UAV board. Of course, we've been saying that it is uh, finals weekend, actually, for the women's volleyball tournament, but also the football tournament at the Arantian Field tomorrow in Ateneo. 9 a.m., FEU and USD. It's a best of three for the women's division. It tied. So the board decided to go best of three for FU and USD. While at 2 p.m. for the men's division, UP with a twice to beat advantage over USD. That will be covered, but will be aired March 1, Tuesday, 2 p.m. But if you want to watch live, uh, it's tomorrow at the Ateneo de Manila University. Now that's um, another defensive error from Maruba Natigla. Moranio getting ready to serve for Lasal. Great dig by Goen. Too close to the net. And uh, Bergato was at the disadvantage there. Boy, the seven serving nine. Check in with Patch Gonzaga. There is a dark cloud over the bench of USD and Coach Jack cannot believe how fast LaSalle scored a shoot up in a blink of an eye. Winning is not something you just get. You 
you should know that because you are the defending champions. One thing that he told the girls because they're starting to lose their patience. One reason that is pissing him off is that they can't get a good reception. It closes the chance for them to attack. One thing that they need to realize according to coaches is that the Salas challenge once they do their combinations. Unfortunately, no play is executed because there is no focus on reception. Another is their inconsistent defense. They have their block but no floor defense. They have their floor defense but no block. They need to have both to win against the South. Lastly, Coach Jack specifically said that no more chance balls. Panahon na para kargahan ng service. USC holds on to the set along with the hopeful crowd for another chance as they face their most crucial set. Bumanan. Thank you very much. USD getting that Rudy point in a long rally. Is Rudy Caballero with a sigh of relief more than anything else after that kill and tying it at nine all. Sumisi Papa. Itong defending champions natin. Look at the reaction. You know, but what we want to see from the Lady Tigers actually is more energy because at this point we see them very quiet. You know, just take it, it's right to take things one at a time, but you, you want to see that uh, normal aggressiveness that you see from them. Ricardo making the adjustment. Dimakulana back set to Ortiz. That's out. But it's a touch. It's a touch at the net by Padin Mercado. It's for USD. They have to take advantage of all these uh, points that they will get out of the uh, out of uh angle in there. As Maribana Tikla serves. This time they go to Jack. Alarka. And another point. Tying the game at 10 2 0 for Lasalle here in game number two. They win today, they wrap it up. Six championships is what they're going for. The first one coming in 2000. 2000. Your championship and game in 2004. Imakulangan goes to Caballero. Going for the back zone. Chakus could not move laterally to get it. Well, speaking of the UAP in general, USD holding a 32-point advantage over second place LaSalle in the general championship tally. That's 262 to 230. So hindi na mahabulyan kahit na whatever happens with the football and the volleyball. USD is headed for a fifth straight double championship wow. as it also leads the overall race in the juniors division. It has won the seniors general championship in the UAB. Check this. 25 out of the last 27 years. Amazing record. That is unheard of. That is a crazy record. General championships for Pinagos up and up. It's a seniors division. 25 out of the last 27 years has gone to USD. And that's where you see that they don't only just focus on the major sports. Which right? is basketball and volleyball. Basketball and volleyball. But, you know, they excel in other, um, well, technically not uh, aired or not covered right. the sports. Eh? Right. Which is very good. And it's a football gap. In men's and women's, they're both in the finals. FEU versus USD in the women's. UP. And USD in the men, so uh, we're giving you a little bit of an overview as season 73 is about to end kasi, no? and for uh, all the events. 13 serving 11 now. Lamang na naman. Ang Lasal. Stephanie Mercado playing in her last year. Over receive for USD. Oh, yeah. And uh, that was overreach for Gonzalez, who is a backliner. And the lead is three now. Crucial timeout for Coach Shaq. Oh, there's a little bit of a resignation in the voice of Coach Shaq in terms of giving his instructions now. He's just like leaving it up to the girls now to try to get this way out, get themselves out of here. Well, Asal in the meantime is looking like they're, they've learned their lesson for the last two USD encounters. They want to finish this one in three. They want to shut out the team that shut them out last, last year. year. Back set to Caballero. 
And Chuck Cruz was and there. Walk for the great green Archer Wall. The basis of the Lady Spikers. They are incredibly confident right now. And Chuck Cruz has done it all for this team. Pulang pahinga yan, ha? Mm, Dire-direcho. Mm. But that's not... Nice, put so much into that. Targeting the back row. They go again to Cruz. Trying to swipe it out. Maizo, underhand set. Back set. Kumabao with that spread palm attack of hers. Maizo again. Maizo oh, Cross court kill. Very sharp, very strong. This is the girl they'll rely heavily on. They've relied on her all throughout the year. You never leave her with just one single block. This communication. Going and Marano both going for it. Ortiz. 13 serving 15. Masala had two sets to love. Marano oh, could not back, calculate back, that serve. She took a back step. Oh. This is last minute. Bago yung isip niya. And that's the difficulty of receiving uh, a floater. You, you can't really. Ang hirap pa sa akin. Pag ikaw pa yung naglalaro, minsan gumagalaw, pakaluwa ka na. Gumagalaw siya and you can't really see it. Esperanza underhands this one. Kumabaw asking for it again, but they go to Alarca. Esperanza. Goes to Chuck Cruz. And Atikla with a dig. They go back to Aiza who doesn't get a decent set. Oh, so high Alarga. A plus leader as they tie the ballgame. Talking about USC here, 15 all. And Coach Ramil comes with a smirk. Comes up with a sarcastic smirk. But that it would have been a good timing if the ball was just a bit lower than that. Underhand set again. Caballero. Cohen trying to keep it alive. But now USC taking over and getting into the technical timeout. First, we will be back. Back here at the arena in San Juan. If you don't recognize her, Phil St. Kanglet. Yeah, uh, here at the arena, San Juan. Uh, the more popular players, the UAP Volleyball, Women's Volleyball Tournament. Watching the game, actually, yung sahit natin dito sa arena, and ang daming naman po. You see it there in that shot earlier. Even the bleachers. Photographers, the bleachers. And everybody else, the kids are out. Saturday weekend. And LaSalle behind, though. 15-16. I am surprised that they're not going to isomize a lot here. I, I would, if I, I were a USD right now, this is just me. I would gamble on her right now. This is your last chance. She is on her last year. She has been delivering for you all year round. Win or lose. As much as I can, I'm going to Isaac right yeah, now. And that's how you see they play their past games when they really need points. If it's a crucial point, a crucial part in the set, they go to her yeah. even if the reception is bad. There you go. Porcentuhan na. Yun ay sinasabi. Porcentuhan na natin. You go to your go-to girl. You live and die. You change it once in a while. Yes, but you know, course. the majority of the plays would have to go to the high percentage attackers, especially, you know, in a very crucial first set when they need to win. Oh very badly. She's not a best scorer for nothing. Kumabao. Oh, what a strong kill. Kumabao. From Michelle Kumabao, the best blocker of the league. Turning out to be a double threat for LaSalle in the years to come. Sir Michelle Kumabao. And we are tied at 17. Joanne C getting ready to come in here at the sidelines. Interesting move by Coach Ramil De Jesus if she does come in. They go to Maizo, but uh, Maizo commits that error. Pero malayo yung set din kasi. Really at the attack line. Yes. The 
got to give her a decent chance here, and that all depends on reception, as you have been preaching the last three sets. Crucial. is back serving. Chakrus. Maizo is there for coverage, as always. Baratikla. Oh, the Baratikla. Couldn't cover that ball. So they get their nose ahead here in this game. 19 serving 18. And USD, of course, making sure that it won't be too late for them try and make it and win the third set. Chakus, Paratikla saving that, joust at the net. And they go back to Maru. Checked. Another joust. Dimakulangan and Maranyo against each other. Oh, Dimakulangan really <laughs> Flatlining, there are signs of life from the defending champions. an incredible point. It looks like the girls can see na 18, 7 points away from winning the set. Minamadali nila lahat, but it's not working to their advantage. In fact, they're giving away more points to USD. And USD now is really taking advantage of that. And the crowd is feeling it, and they're back in this game. They have been silent for almost a full set. And if there's one thing about USD, we know that this team can really, really come from behind. And, you know, we saw that in the first game. And we also know that they can get energy from the crowd. They have been known to do that sometimes. <laughs> I think I... I don't want It's a familiar script being written here. Good call by uh, Alarca. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, Joe MC, uh, the former rookie of the year, 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 last year, year Joe comes in for his best set. So who's going to be setting now? Of course, will oh. be uh, setting. Urban Remember, looking back in the past yeah. years, Chuck Cruz was actually being fielded in as the setter of the team. Alternating with Martinez. The dual role. Yeah. Look at Chuck Cruz. So, setting up Maranio, there's a violation here. On track. Uh, not in the right position to uh, set the line. Look at that. May nag-move pa siya eh. Going uh, to the net. Ayun, tapos na... Nag-crossing. Lahat na lang violation. Oo, oh, and you can, you can see the ball. Tama, ikot, tama, eh. tama. USD. Coming back here. Legal set by uh, Melissa Gohing. So it is. Chance here for LaSalle to put this point away. Maranyo. Chance for USD this time. Maru Banatica. Coverage by Chakrus. Drive C opens up to Bertado. To Hapa. Maizo taking it. Back set. Bertado, what a save by Karangan. Long rally here. Bad reception. Underhand. This is an interesting uh, substitution that was made by Coach Romeo. It's a gamble. That's what it was. Oh, and three. 23 19 here. USD. Two points away from extending this match. Wrong time. 
<laughs> this is not... Are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> Come on, this is what USD is going for. Now wow. Deja vu at the arena in San Juan. Oh! oh. Karaman sends that one long. Everybody at the edge of their seats here. Rasal just getting a little bit comfortable with their seats. And now they cannot commit any more mistakes. Correct. Otherwise, they can just USD. That's a rare error on reception by Isa Meiser, who's one of the best. She's ever. actually the best receiver. Oh, one of the best ever in women's volleyball. This year, the best receiver. Maranya. Maranya just going for the sure serve. Yep. Maru, change of pace on the oh, off speed. Poor setup by Esperanza. Tino nila tinawag yung net violation. It didn't affect the play. UST, Maru Banatikla. Ang taas ng ball na yun. Esperanza to Mercado. The defense by UST. Marangan was there. Long rally. Cut shot. Oh. Cut shot. Oh. Oh. By Stephanie Mercado, the veteran delivering here, cutting the lead down to two. Okay, no. Di, di tapusin. Ito mo ang tulog. Okay? Di at saka siya, receive muna tayo maganda. PC, amos, go very tayo. Siya, hindi kaya si. Hindi kang backline. Hindi kang backline, okay? Kaya, receive lang. Ano? I saw a smile in the in that huddle for LaSalle. Well, uh, we had a good run. <laughs> we haven't seen that from them in a while. I, I, you know, they've, they've looked depressed the last couple of sets. But the defending champions, again, you want to take it, you got to go through them. And boy, they're not making it easy for LaSalle, are they? You know, this is really a test of uh, character for these oh. athletes, especially for USC. They're really hanging on to the third set. It is not easy. The nerves coming in to play. National television. They go. Stephanie. Delivery again. Panero and Pato, the veteran, playing in her last game if they win today, has got them back. 23-24. And it is worth the price of admission this game here at the Arena in San Juan. Miss reception for USD. Chance for LaSalle here. They go to Alarca. The MVP delivering. And tying this game with 24 off. And the LaSalle crowd goes crazy. What a turn of events, and You know, it, it can still happen. These things, very rare. But you see a team down against a team that's at 24 already. Nakakapantay pa at nakakahabol pa. Only those with, you know, your character. It's really a test of character. But they're really proving that they've learned from last year, aren't they? <laughs> Mercado again! Stephanie Mercado here, climbing the ladder for that kill. Mercado doing an excellent job. The first two sets, Mercado was pretty really silent. She hasn't received much sense, but she really played, you know, a vital role. Almost an error. A chance for LaSalle. Esperanza to Alarca. Wow. Look at USD heading on. Oh, boy. The shoulders, the knees of these players must be trembling right now <laughs> with pressure and tension. You cannot go wrong. At least I have been. 25 all. Third set. USD fighting for their lives. Poor reception by Goheng. Mercado saving this. Confusion on the LaSalle side, USD. Here we go. Back set. Cut shot. Mercado again. Check this time. Alarga. Oh, what a good ball. 
Jackie Alaka with a dump ball for championship point number two. The veterans and Mercado and Alarca are Second carrying this Lasalle team. That's a what was earlier an already USD game, you know, USD at 24. It's consistency, and you can really see that uh, these girls oh. really want to win the game, but USD oh, not letting go. Well, USD, as we know them in many, many years, are the most resilient teams under fire. Not giving up in delivery, tying the ball game and saving championship point number two. USD needs to get two points. Makulangan, always a great server. They open up, Kumabao. Great big. But this is a point for the South Championship number three. Kumabao also been delivering all year for the South. Unbelievable action here at the arena in San Juan. Who is going to blink first? And chance for LaSalle. Cha Cruz. USD. Oh! oh! And USD wins it! USD wins it! USD! Championship number six! On a USD error, that's LaSalle with championship number six, rather, on a USD error. The LaSalle Lady Spikers showing a lot of character. And lessons learned from last year, sweeping USD in the finals. Remember, they, they had to learn from also the hard way, but, uh, you know, all the hard work this year really paid off. You mentioned earlier, pati mga cellphones, oh, na pinukuha, and uh, now, a sweet victory for the Lady Spikers. Cha Cruz. And here comes Dimakulangan. And then the error by Meisel. And the coaching staff of De La Salle taking back the championship that they won in 2009. And USC taking it last year. And now they're back at the top of that volleyball mountain. And the girls who have been focused all throughout the year and again let's admit it unbeaten this year on the court on Flemish record on the court and uh, you know they have two graduating players Alarca and Mercado it's such a good exit for these graduating players Jacques Cruz with the option to play next year and it's without question that you know she wants to come back and and I'm sure coach Ramil would want her to come back and look at that the archers let display there Oh, if you see something that they kind of rehearsed, <laughs> they win today and they do in straight sets. 25-18, 25-17, and a uh, nail-biting 28-26 set number three. USD, your thoughts, and this year, a very tough year for the defending champ. A lot of challenges. USD faced a lot of challenges, but they showed us, you know, a lot of good games. And, um, you know... Isa Maiz, of course, always there, one of uh, the most, oh, I I'd say, no, one of the players that talagang admired, even by the Correct. other schools. Correct. It's, it's, it's sayang. This season, sayang for them. But, you know, they, they, they showed a pretty uh, good year. They made it up to the final. With, they made sure that every move that they made was really worth it and would con be converted into a point. And that's very important, yung kapet na oh, yeah. And you can really feel the leadership and seniority because the veterans, you know, the seniors in the team really stepped up towards the end. Last year, that couldn't have happened with the, the way they played, the pressure that they felt. But they learned from that experience. They, they, they met the pressure head on this year. They came back. Three championship points and the big point, the former rookie of the year, Joanne C. Now finally getting a championship. Stephanie Mercado, part of the 2009 champion team, Rodila Santos. Congratulations to DLSU for their sixth championship in the women's volleyball tournament. We will be back to wrap this baby up. Season 73 of your UAAP, the finals.
Ladies and gentlemen, time for our awarding ceremonies for the women's division. Our board members of the UAAP are at center court, Mr. Ricky Paloma, Ateneo de Manila, of course, and all the others, Mr. Chuck Buenaventura and brother Bernie Oka of De La Salle University. Now we will award the bronze trophy and bronze individual medals to the second runner-up. Our second runners up in the women's division, the Adamson Lady Falcons. bronze medals and bronze trophy from our UAAP board reps. It's a pity that Kaboom isn't there. and Lady Falcons! Thank you, ladies. Now it is time for, for our uh, first runners-up. And they really play their hearts out. It just wasn't enough. Anyway, they won the men's championship earlier. Would you please give a round of applause to the team celebrating their quadricentennial anniversary, the UST Tigresses! so much to the fans of UST for coming in droves to the Bill and Flying the Arena. We really appreciate it. After you receive your individual medals, please pose for our cameras. Give it up one more time for the first runners up, the UST Tigresses. And now it's time to give the championship back to where it belonged two years ago. They will celebrate their centennial anniversary come the next school year. And they've been leading from day number one up to the final day. Would you please give it up for the champions, the De La Salle Ladies!
Well, there you go. The champions for season 73, the DLSU Lady Spikers. And of course, Jack Cruz, our MVP for the finals. Your thoughts? Well, Cha has been very consistent. We've always been uh, saying it in terms of the numbers. We don't really see a standout from Lasad. It's primarily because everyone is just performing well. But Cha, very consistent all throughout the season. She's stabilized how these girls have played. She can play dual roles, very agile, very flexible in terms of position. A well-deserved uh, award also for Cha Cruz. Congratulations to uh, the MVP, Cha Cruz. Congratulations. To uh, Jack Alarga, the MVP of the whole tournament. A little bit of